turn on the power supply, the switch on the side of the meter, and wait a couple seconds when the logo goes, that button. You can switch from Fahrenheit and the centigrade. This is the hold button. You put it's uh, highlight the number that on hold. This is select button. You can select among, okay, this is connected because uh, to test tip to ground resistance and the tip to ground uh, leaking voltage, you need to have the grounding wire, connect the meter and uh, with the same ground with your soldering iron. Okay, if you choose select, this is the leakage millivolts. They say unplug, so that means you already select the temperature testing. For temperature testing, you don't need the, the ground wire. Okay, let me do, this is a save button. When you finish test, you push down save, they will save the data in the internal memory. So for the future, you can download all of the data into your computer. So I will test the tip temperature. I make it a centigrade. Okay, this is sensor. Okay, save. And then I need to do the tip to ground, the same uh, sorting iron. Select, okay, tip to ground. So tip to ground resistance is uh, 0 0.4 ohms. We select tip to ground leaking voltage. Okay, this is uh, less than 0 0.2 millivolts. Save it. Now we need to test temperature again, so you choose selection, unplug the ground wire. This is for the temperature testing. Okay. Sometimes you need to apply a little bit of solder between the tip and the thermocouple. Okay, when it's temperature stabilized, you put a hold and you save it. Okay, this is a basic operation of a uh, Somertronics uh, tip tester. Thank so this is the side of uh, the view of the meter. And this is the power on and off switch. This is the data output socket. This is a grounding connection socket. So when you do the tip to ground resistance and a leakage of voltage testing, you need the plug in. The ground wire. So the ground wire will share the same ground with your soldering iron power supply. So this is the, the data output cable. So you plug on here and on the other side it's a USB connector so you can plug in on your computer. So after you finish all of the tests you can download the data from your tester to your computer. It's uh, If your computer is a window 8 above and you plug in the cable in the meter, the, the window will plug in place, identify the tester. And then you install this program. You got the TMT ST10 to go with the each meter on a CD. You double click and then you open the window. And then you can click start and then they said device is not found. So this one is Windows 7. You have to install the driver. So after we install the driver, and then we double click the program, and we click start, it said here, the COM3 connected. So that means the Windows 7 is identify the tester. You can start to download the data to your computer.